Do you want more joy and a deeper sense of control in your life? Are you willing to think differently and do things differently to get it? If so, then keep watching. Hello and welcome back to the Making Hope Happen series. I am Lori Mage. This is day 73. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at the difference between living without discernment and discipline versus living with discernment and discipline. And I challenge you, which one's for you? Let's get started with the person who does not practice discernment and discipline. Their life tends to look like this. They've got this unfocused, anxious energy. They feel busy, but not productive. They often feel scattered and all over the place, saying yes to everyone, not sure if they're making the difference that they could make or living the life that they could live. Whereas the people who practice discernment and discipline, their lives look more like this, focused, calm, confident energy. They know where to focus their attention. And they know how to get things done. They feel grounded and centered. They know who they are. They know what they want and how they can make their highest contribution. So the people who don't practice discernment and discipline, they have a tendency to think like this, all things to all people. They think I have to go do this because someone requested it. They just have to go do it. They think all things are important. They think, all right, I got all this stuff to do. How can I fit it all in? That's it. Whereas people who practice discernment and discipline, they think like this, quality over quantity. They know they only have 24 hours in a day. They only have a limited amount of energy that they can give to life, to the people they love and to the work they do. So they know they, they accept the reality that they have to choose. They have to choose where they're gonna put their time, their energy and their focus. And they realize that really, truly only a few things really matter. And they always think in trade-offs. If I do this, then something else is going to have to suffer. So what am I really gonna say yes to? So that's the difference in how they think. Now their thinking then influences actually what they do. So the people without discernment and discipline, they think all things matter and therefore they practice the undisciplined pursuit of people pleasing. They react to what's most pressing. They say yes to people without really thinking through it of the costs and the consequences. And they try to force execution at the last minute. They're not strategically thinking long-term about the quality and the quantity of energy they have to give a, to a particular meeting, to a particular task, to a particular event that they want to go to or they want to participate in. Whereas the individuals who practice discernment, they think quality over quantity and therefore they do things differently. They practice the disciplined pursuit of living authentically, wholeheartedly and making their unique highest contribution to life. Whenever requests come in, they pause and they discern what really matters most here. They pretty much say no to everything except the essential vital few, the things that line up with them authentically and the things they know they can make a really big impact doing. And finally, they remove obstacles to make execution super easy. And each of these approaches to life get different results. So the person without discernment and discipline, they think all things matter. They practice the undisciplined pursuit of people pleasing. And as a result, they live lives that are not satisfying. They take on too much and the quality of their life, the relationships and the contribution that they make suffers. They feel out of control and they're unsure if the right things are getting done. They often feel overwhelmed and exhausted. Whereas the people who practice discernment think quality over quantity, they practice the disciplined pursuit of living authentically, wholeheartedly and making their unique highest contribution, the things they get, this person gets to live a satisfying life that really matters. They're carefully choosing to live a great life, maintaining great relationships and making their highest contribution to life, love and work. They feel in control. They get the right things done, the things that matter most to them and the areas of life where they can make their highest contribution. And as a result, they get to experience joy in the process of living authentically and contributing to life in a deeply meaningful and rewarding way. Well, that's a wrap for day 73 in the Making Hope Happen series. Life without discernment and discipline versus life with discernment and discipline. Which one's for you? I hope you got value today. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you know someone who might get value out of this particular video, please share it with them. I'm on a mission to help build a happier, healthier, more loving world. One person, one video at a time. Thanks so much for watching today. Until next time, sending you a load of love, hope, and happiness. Have an awesome night. I'll see you tomorrow.